Okay, here we are today outside of my shop, and uh, what I'm doing today is another video on solar. And this video is really just to illustrate uh, what can potentially happen when you have a small unregulated solar panel with no solar controller. As we can see, we can follow that line right from the panel directly up to this bank of Lifeline 6 volt batteries. And these batteries are 220 amp hours, a pair of 6 volts wired in series for 12 volts. And we have down here a really inexpensive 12-watt uh, panel that a customer just basically gave me because uh, the junction box got water in it. And uh, he gave it to me. I kind of fixed it, and I'm using it for this experiment. It's an ultra cheap El Cheapo uh, eBay panel, but it's a 12-watt panel. And what I'm doing here is, is just illustrating what can happen okay this this panel right now is putting out about three quarters of an amp roughly 0.72 to 0.73 amps into this lifeline battery bank now I charge this bank with a solar controller for a number of uh, days probably well probably took over a week because uh, the bank was pretty low uh, and then I took the controller off and I just let it run unregulated and right now it's about 11 o'clock in the morning here in Maine and this is where our voltage is is on this bank and this is completely unacceptable with a bank this expensive you will ruin these batteries uh, this is a battery bank that should be charged to about 14.4 volts in absorption until the bank gets to about 0.5 percent uh, acceptance rate of its 220 amp hour rate uh, and then it should terminate and go to a float voltage and as we can see even a 12 watt panel here's our 12 watt panel on a 220 amp hour bank definitely has the the capability to overcharge this bank and push the voltage over 15 volts an unsafe situation uh, I have had a number of battery banks ruined by unregulated solar panels and it's not something I can really blame blame the uh, the boat owners for because you know they go on the internet and they read oh you don't need a solar controller if your solar panel is less than 10 percent of the amp hour capacity well I think what we're looking at here today uh, shows that that, that advice um, needs to be taken with a grain of salt. I'm going to connect it up right now to a 125 amp hour uh, deep cycle flooded lead acid battery uh, that has also been fully charged. And uh, as we can see, it just started at about you know 13 volts because uh, I had it off charge for a little while. And uh, I'll put the clamp meter back on here, zero that. And again, we can see that the panel is still putting out roughly what it, what it was before on the lifeline bank. Um, perhaps the sun has changed slightly. Maybe there's some clouds up there. But as we can see, that voltage is very quickly climbing uh, to dangerous levels. So again this is a 125 amp hour battery originally sold by Walmart but it's actually manufactured by US Battery. It's, it's actually a heck of a battery it's too bad Walmart doesn't sell it anymore it was sold under the Max Marine brand and it's a group 31 battery Walmart calls it a Max 29 they, they kind of create their own group size but it's a group 31 flooded battery uh, with 125 amp hours so uh, and then we can see the amp hour rating right down here Uh, but, you know, we can see w exactly what's going on here. 12 watt panel, which is almost exactly 10% of the capacity of this battery. Um, it's considerably less than 10% of the capacity of that 220 amp hour bank. Yet it was still pushing that bank over 15 volts. So, you know, please, please be careful with what you read on the internet about hooking up solar controllers to your boat's batteries and then leaving them unattended. You know, if you're using the batteries, and you're there daily or every other day and you're deep cycling them, you're probably never ever going to overcharge the batteries with a, a small panel in the 10% 10, 10 of capacity size range. But if you leave it unattended, you go away for a couple weeks. Uh, I had a customer with a bass boat leave it in his driveway. Yeah, here, here's our current now. Again, it's come back up again uh, as, as well as the voltage. And he cooked a Trojan SCS 225 that he was using as a Trojan uh, trolling battery. I've had uh, customers cook 6 volt batteries over the winter by leaving an unregulated solar panel on. Uh, it, it's not an uncommon thing that I see. 
So please be careful uh, connecting solar panels to batteries unregulated because as we've seen here today in this illustration, a 12 volt panel certainly has the capability to push that 220 amp hour lifeline bank over 15 volts, 15.1, 15.2. And as we can see here, this is a group 31 flooded lead acid battery, deep cycle. And we're looking at it right now at 15.53 volts at 0.76 amps of current. So again, please, please be careful. I would always, and as I always say, any solar panel worth doing anything to your batteries, meaning recharging them in any given period of time that's reasonable, requires a solar controller. Uh, but as we can see here today, even a 12 volt panel on a 220 amp hour bank of lifelines really should have a solar controller. Hope that helps.